Hi there, as promised, I'm going to make that lip balm. <laughs> Hello, Stella. <laughs> this recipe calls for four ingredients. Shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, and whatever essential oil you'd like to use. Here in Minnesota, it's extremely dry and everything is affected by that. Our skin, our lips, everything you can think of that's exposed to the air. This lip balm is a part of a present that I'm making for the holidays for my friends, family, and loved ones in Minnesota. Let's go into the kitchen and get started. Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today, once again, we are doing the lip balm and you're going to need just four ingredients for this. You're going to need the three tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons of shea butter, and three tablespoons of beeswax, as well as 25 to 40 drops, depending on how strong you want it, of peppermint essential oil, as well as, I like to add tea tree oil for the healing properties. We're gonna take all those ingredients and put them in a Pyrex cup measure. Put the cup measure into a pan of boiling water and mix it around as it's melted. So here are all those ingredients. We have the three tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons of shea butter, three tablespoons plus one teaspoon of beeswax, and our two essential oils. Now I am using these small 0.6 ounce jars to put it in. They're cute, they're small, and functional for this gift. So I've got my heat on medium high, and I've got my coconut oil in already. The pan is filled three quarters of the way with water, and that is with the measuring cup sitting in there. So here goes the shea butter. A little bit more in there, let's get that in there and the beeswax. We're gonna get that to boiling and starting to melt down. I'll come back when I start stirring it with a metal spoon. Actually, I'm finding that the end of a wooden spoon is working better for this recipe. I'm able to poke at the shea butter and break it apart a little bit more. It's starting to get a little bit more soupy. The beeswax is starting to melt, the shea butter is coming along nicely, and you see the water is boiling. So I think this is going to go pretty quick. So I found these containers at Amazon. They're actually marketed for uh, lip gloss containers or lip balm containers and they weren't that expensive. They come in a box of 50, and I thought that meant 25 bottoms and 25 lids, but it's actually a box of 50. So I can do a number of things with these small containers. And actually, because I made that mistake, I have 100 small containers because I bought two boxes. I've laid all of my containers out open and ready to be poured into, but I also have paper towel underneath because I certainly don't need to make a mess. The shea butter and the coconut oil has melted. Now all we're waiting for is the beeswax to liquefy. Not five seconds later and it is completely liquefied. So it's time to pull it off the heat and add in my essential oils. All right, I'm gonna add in my essential oils. I am going to do 25 drops of the peppermint oil. 25 drops. Let's see how fast this comes out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, two, 23, 24, 25. All right, stir that in. Mmm. I'm gonna turn off that light so it's not so bright. All right, and then for the healing benefits, I'm gonna add in 10 drops of tea tree oil. Seven, eight, nine, ten. good, all right. Stir that as well. And then I'm gonna go about the possibly dangerous task of pouring these into the lip balm containers. 
Wish me luck. Ouch. Okay, so I have to use a hot pad um, because that has been over the heat. And I'm not going to pick it up to pour it because I'm afraid I'm going to burn my face or burn my finger. So here we go. One. Oh, 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 oh. I think I can get a little bit more in there. Good. Two. Oh, that one's going to overflow. Three. Oh, that one overflowed. Let me put this down. Uh, I think... It worked. I'll keep that to the side. Hot. I am going to get more than I thought. I thought I was going to get um, six containers, then I realized, uh, nope, it's going to be more than that. I think I'm going to need to sanitize a few more of those containers and get them ready to be filled. I'll be back in a second. Well, I sanitized seven more, so I think I have enough to fill up that many. So let's go for it. It's already starting to solidify, but I need to leave these on the counter for about or three or so hours before I cover them up. I don't know how I underestimated how much I would have. Well, the handle's cool enough where I can hold on to it without a hot pad, but I have seven more that I'm gonna fill. I just sanitized six more, so let's see what happens. I think I can get two more in this batch. Yep, exactly two more. Out of that batch, I got 33 small rounds of lip balm. This is gonna be a terrific Christmas for a lot of folks. Hey, here it is, see? It's already starting to solidify. I wonder if I even did, oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I will let those sit out for three hours to solidify completely. Then I'll put the lids back on. Then I'm going to load them into these gift bags I got. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you did, please like and subscribe. I'm so glad you came back to my kitchen. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!